familia ya mama mukami na dedan kimati na familia kubwa ya maumau ambayo iko hapa wachungaji ndugu na dada ambao wamekuja kupeana heshima ya mwisho kwa mama mukami hamjambo muriega ohoro wanyu asante mimi rais nimeona watu wakipambana na jina langu wananiita Moses eh, sijekata Moses alikuwa baba yangu eh, wameniita Moses wa Tangula mimi naleta rambi rambi za wa Tangula pia ambaye ni speaker wa bunge yetu na tukienda mbele hata mkiniita macharia itakuwa mzuri Mheshimiwa Rais neno la kwanza kabisa ni kutoa rambi rambi zangu binafsi kwa na kwa wenzangu ambao wako hapa nitawataja majina mawaziri katika serikali kwa familia ya mama mkami na kwa watu wote wa kitaifa ambao najua wanatazama hafla hii kwa runinga tunasema poleni na Mungu alaze roho ya mama pahali pema peponi ili tuwe na utulivu na pia awafariji wale ambao wamebaki wawe na hali ya kunawiri kwa maisha yao hapa tuko na mawaziri wawili kuna mama Alice Wahome waziri wetu wa maji akisimama itakuwa vizuri nimeambiwa ni tambue mama Alice Wahome pia kuna waziri wa uh, tourism na mambo ya heritage aha haya kuna mama Malonza yule najua alisikia mambo ya museums wa, wakisema ameyasikia kwa sababu tuko na msichana wa nyumbani wacha nimpatie dakika moja aseme kwa niaba ya mwenzake alafu tutaendelea Asante sana Prime Cabinet Secretary Msaria Mdavadi Your Excellency thank you for allowing me to say one word or two Your Excellency ingekuwa ni nidhamu ingekuwa ni vibaya kwa sababu I consider myself as one of the, the current democracy defenders and freedom fighters we are bearing a woman hero here and it is important that we participate even if in a very small way your excellency the deputy president all protocols observed i want to say that uh, i also have uh, apologies na rabirabi za mheshimiwa eh eden duare na ninajua angetaka kukuja lakini amesema tukubali hiyo rabirambi your excellency i want to say two things one this freedom fighter was decorated with a field marshal title alongside her husband that speaks a lot to the progressiveness of kemathi dedan himself field marshal kemathi ati alikubali kuwa bibi yake wako na yeye kwa msitu wakipigania freedom I want to commend the family of Kimathi and Mukami because they have lived and ensured that the legacy of Kimathi is actually carried forward. Your Excellency, you are now the one in charge of the country. Before I came here I was thinking what wanyandaro watakuitisha maji 
na nimesikia sasmua maneno ya sasmua maneno mingi hata hapa nyumbani wa excellency hakukuwa na maji mheshimiwa his excellency the deputy president akaniamrisha akasema angalia what is the problem we sorted out in a very small way your excellency that means there is demand i want to assure the governor because we have been in touch na leadership yetu hapa ya county ya Nyandarwa you will not come to Nairobi we have been asked to work at the grassroots me the minister for water your excellency and thank you very much for that honor and privilege to serve in your government nitakuja Nyandarwa hiyo mambo yote tuangalie alafu tupelekee the president pale pengine tutahitaji usaidizi wake so that we can get support but i know from the ministry we have many projects your excellency i've sent you a list into your phone of the projects that are going on i like one statement your excellency that was spoken by the former prime minister he said we must not fear mukami was not a coward not many women went to the forest she stood out and he said we speak truth to the power the right honorable brother odinga is a powerhouse also so we must also speak truth to raira odinga as a powerhouse your excellency the prime minister the process of elections is known by all of us you participated in the process you went to the supreme court the results were declared the end has come mimi naangalia naona hii your excellency we cannot do politics because i'm a minister in the government and i'm also supposed to serve the former prime minister in the entire country where he has supporters and even in his own home in bondo we must speak truth to you and say allow this government to do its part you have served in the government you have served as a prime minister this is the time he ni wakati wa muheshimiwa deputy president william ruto you could start yeah the president the uh, wakati wa president william ruto na our deputy president Rigathi Gashagwa na wewe ni mungwana hapo mbele tumekusaf umekuwa kwa hiyo serikali ambayo iliutufukuza now this is now another government asante sana i just wanted to speak the truth to the power na ni mheshimiwa raira is nyawana mheshimiwa raira is nyawana maybe he doesn't know have not had the opportunity to tell him my daughter is married in bondo sitaki niende bondo nisemekane serikali hakuna when i go to bondo i would want to be a free agent like the way raira undinga amekuja hapa as a free agent wacha tuache maneno ya madamano economy needs to rise his excellency is working very hard kurudisha uchumi kwa rai raini ukweli ni kwamba uchumi iliharibika kukiwa na wengine wale tuliwacha kwa serikali ambaye ilitufukuza na ikafukuza William Samoi Ruto the president of the Republic of Kenya now asante sana thank you very much thank you uh, pia nataka nitambue kuna Isaac Mwaoro hapa. Asante sana. Kuna Beatrice Ngapa. Asante. Kuna Rehema Hassan. Aya, alafu kuna Amos Chege. Asante sana. Uh, Mheshimiwa Rais. Kuna mambo hapa. Mambo. Na magavana wako hapa. Kwanza nataka niseme nakubaliana na, na Mheshimiwa Raila kwa mambo kadhaa. 
jambo la kwanza kwamba tumekuja hapa kwa mambo muhimu zaidi kusindikiza mama mukami na kubaliana na yeye pia nakubaliana na yeye kwamba maisha ni magumu hiyo mtu hawezi kata ni wakati ambapo maisha ni magumu kwa wakenya wote na kushikia pale mheshimiwa ali amesema Mheshimiwa Raila amesema ni vizuri tuongee ukweli. Tena nakubaliana na hayo. Ukweli wa kwanza uchumi ambao wote wanatuumiza kwa njia tofauti haukufika hapa kwa ghafla. Tumeingia kwa shimo hii kwa sababu kwa muda mrefu kulikuwa na mambo ambayo yalikuwa yakifanyika ambayo tulipo. Kwa mfano tulisema kwamba vile serikali ilikuwa ikikopa hapo awali kwa njia ya kiholela holela na mimi nilikuwa nikitaja haya maneno kwamba tunakopa kwa njia ya kiholela tutaingia kwa shimo ambayo itatusumbua na kutoka kwa hiyo shimo itagarimu uchungu kwa wakenya niliambiwa na bweka ukweli wa mambo ni sasa ni lazima tujue kwamba kutoka kwa hiyo shimo lazima tutafute namna ya kupunguza vile tulikuwa tukikopa na vile tutaenda mbele ili tusiingize taifa letu kwa shimo zaidi na kujitoa kwa uchumi kwa hali hiyo ngumu ya kiuchumi ni lazima kama wa Kenya tushirikiane tusikizane na ikiwa ni kukosoa tukosoe tukienda mbele na ukweli wa mambo ambao ni lazima sasa tutambue ni kwamba uchaguzi uliisha mwezi wa August mwaka jana na wa Kenya walichagua mheshimiwa William Samoe Ruto kama rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Hatuwezi tukabadili. Na mimi nilisikia Mheshimiwa Raila akimuita Ruto alimuita rafiki yangu. Ni kweli ni rafiki. Na ukweli wa mambo rafiki huyu sasa ndio amekuwa rais wa Kenya. Tuweke uchaguzi nyuma yetu tuende mbele tujenge taifa ikiwa tunataka tukienda mbele tuwe na majadiliano na kuna kamati ambazo zimewekwa pale hizi kamati ama hii kamati ya bunge tunataka isiwe kamati ambayo inaenda kuchimbua makaburi ya kisiasa tunataka na tungependa na wakenya wote wangependa iwe kamati ambayo itaweka msingi kuonyesha wakenya tunaelekea wapi na tuanze kupata suluhisho tukienda mbele kuna ukosefu wa kazi gharama ya chakula imeenda juu na kuna matatizo pia katika ulimwengu ambayo yanachangia ile shida ambayo tunapata kama wa Kenya ni wakati kwa kimombo wanasema let us close ranks na tusonge mbele
tujenge taifa letu ili tuanze kupeana na fu kwa wananchi wote pahali popote walipo katika taifa letu na tutafanya tu hivyo ikiwa tutaishi na kuamini kwamba the truth is what sets us free kwa hivyo wachungaji mimi ni kwa sihi muzidi kutushauri na kutuombea so that we can reconcile ourselves with the reality of the day and then we can move forward and we can find common solutions that is what a decent society ought to do that is what we ought to do and that is what the leadership ought to do we cannot all be in the same basket we must criticize and correct each other but let us do it from a position of truth and not a politician a position of just politicking hiyo ndio ombi letu na mimi nasema hivyo tukizungumza kwa mazishi ya mama mkami kwamba let us be one people let us be united and let us speak the truth let us not take the people on a path that will not be constructive and to get out of the economy of this country it is going to be a challenge mimi nilisema na nitarudia kwamba kufufua uchumi wa Kenya sio vile tunatengeneza kahawa asubuhi kufufua uchumi wa Kenya itachukua muda lakini inahitaji tuwe na umoja katika taifa letu asante sana kwa kunisikiza na ni wajibu wangu sasa kumwalika naibu wa rais mheshimiwa Rigathe Gachagua naye anene na mwalike rais wa jamhuri kiongozi wetu rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya daktari William Samoe Ruto waziri wetu mkuu mheshimiwa Musalia Mudavari waziri mkuu wa zamani mheshimiwa Raila Odinga LKA Agwambo makasisi wetu familia ya field marshal Dedan Kimadhi Wachuri na Mukami Kimadhi adwa nyumba yetu gaine mwega na hede shiode geje ishara ya mwana ni agosho mheshimiwa rais tunakushukuru sana kwa kumpa mama huyu wetu heshima krasmi na kukupatia maumau na watoto wao heshima inayostahili mazishi ya leo ni mara inasimamiwa na kanisa na serikali na maumau kwa hivyo mimi kwanza nitaongea kama mtoto wa maumau baadaye nitaongea kama naibu wa rais na ikiwezekana nitaongea kama rigiji wapi kijana yetu ya hapa anaitwa Kwame Kwame kuja wapi Kwame karibia hapa taarisha ile wimbo unajua tu, tulianza hii mazishi tuko na anthem yetu ya maumau na sasa ndio tuingie kwa ile ratiba ya maumau huyu kijana wetu atuongoze kwa ile anthem yetu tafadhali tusimame
Please be seated. Asante sana. Rais wetu William Ruto. Nataka kuchukua nafasi hii kwa niaba ya wale walipigania uhuru katika msitu wa Badea na wa Mount Kenya na watoto wao na wale wote walikufa wakipigania uhuru wa nchi hii ni kushukuru rais kwa sababu wewe uliamua ya kwamba huyu mama wetu ambaye alikuwa pale mstuni akipigania uhuru ambaye aliwachwa na bwana yake ambaye aliuawa na wameberu ukaamua serikali yako impatie heshima apate mazishi ya kitaifa na serikali yako ikasimamia kila kitu kwa hii mazishi rais kwa niaba ya watu ya maumau na watoto wao tunasema asante sisi rais tuko na furaha kwa sababu serikali zimepita zimekosa kutambua watu ya maumau The Mau Mau story is about land and freedom. Mau Mau ilikuwa naitwa the land and freedom army. Na hao watu ya Mau Mau walipigana. Mzungu akiwa na gruleti, akiwa na bombs, akiwa na buduki. They had only a panga and a resolve to liberate their country. Uhuru kapatikana lakini mashamba haikupatikana. The British government gave 30 million pounds for land to be bought from settlers to settle the Mau Mau and their descendants. But the black colonialists who came after the white colonialists left diverted that money that land was taken by a few and given to home guards and collaborators. Na nimeshukuru sana former prime minister umekubaliana na sisi ya kwamba mashamba ya Mau Mau ilichukuliwa na home guards and collaborators. Miguuda ya Mau Mau yo ironega ti na kama timu na tukunia. Na tungetaka former prime minister kushukuru babako marehemu Jaramogi. Kwa sababu he spoke about land grabbing for Mau Mau land na akaumizwa kwa kuongea juu ya mashamba ya Mau Mau tungekataka kukuomba kwa heshima waziri mkuu wa zamani ukitetea wa Kenya kwa mambo zingine zote vile naendelea tunataka kusikia pia utetee hao watu warudishiwe mashamba yao na wale walichukua na muda wajua warudishie hao mashamba yao kati kwa ndoitu Ndidi ato tetele. Nguda mau mau yo iruo ere ya gadwaliga. Na yo mau egadi ko tuvuli twa muige. Koguo wale wanasema ati serikali nunue mashamba ni sawa. Lakini mashamba ya mau mau iko. Na inajulikana pahali iko. Si wale wako nayo warudisha hata kama ni nusu. Eh, hey, na tutetee hiyo. Even as we ask the government to look for money to buy land for Mau Mau, the land for Mau Mau is known where it is. Those who took this land, they can be considered and give us at least half of that land. And it is enough for the Mau Mau. Hiyo shaba ni kubwa, inaweza tosha hawa na watoto yao. Your Excellency, kwa sababu, we feel bad we feel bad we feel cheated and we feel misused because our parents were buried having gotten nothing yet the collaborators of the home guards continue to enjoy everything the mau mau people fought for and they despise us and they look down upon us yet the vast lands they occupy belong to the Mau Mau and their descendants. And that is the truth. And I'm happy the former Prime Minister, you have said we speak the truth. 
welcome to the Club of Truthful Men. It is true. The truth is good. It sets you free. Ukweli ni kwamba bei ya unga iko juu. Ukweli pia ni kwamba when the hardship government was there, unga ilikuwa too fat, imeteremuka ni 170, hamukufanya maandamano. That is the truth. That is the truth. Ukweli ni kwamba tumekuta uchumi umeharibika, pesa yote ya serikali ilibiwa ikapelekwa kwa project ya BBI. That is the truth. The truth of the matter, pesa ilibiwa ikapelekwa kwa project ya Simio. That is the truth. It is good for us to be truthful. Ukweli ni kwamba pia people must not live in denial. The truth of the matter is that hustler number one, William Samoy Ruto, is the president of Kenya and commander in chief of the defense forces. That is the truth. That is the truth. And his deputy is the son of Baumau Rigiji. That is the truth. Let us stop living in denial. Let us be truthful. And once the truth we accept it, ukweli ni kwamba uchaguzi ulisha. The next election is 2027. Wale wa Kenya walipiga kura hakuna pahali walienda. Si wako. Wenye kupigiwa kura si iko. That is the time to sort out all those things. Those, that is the truth. So let us be truthful. And let us tell each other the truth because it's the right thing to do. Tuko na apology ya CS wetu, Rebecca Meano, mtoto wetu kutoka hapa andaragwa. Na tuko pia na apology ya kiongozi wetu katika bunge la kitaifa, mweshimiwa kebani uchongwa. Pia hapa tuko na magava na wetu wa zamani, wapigiwe makofi gava na kememia. Isaya. Tuko pia na governor William Kabogo tupigie makofi Adwa nyumba ito mwe huko Mwe kuwa Ni mwake na nekuwa na mudhabaki wito Uyo weta waruto Niwe mwadhu ulire Kuyede laka akuli igiri liyo Eh Na nye nye da gadona kamu weke gashoki ya gado adwa ito Ni na ajabu na ita waruto ni mwatu ikire wega. Ketu wali yohawama. Ito tia ni hadu wega. Tanida ni hadu wa sheke. Na ni mwatu ikire wega. Mugitu hoa elaga ya gitu te idia. Mugishoka mugitu ikire ya kura. Ona ule mwaka ni yaku liigire liyo. Mkiuga mutiku liigire liyo. Adu wanyoba ito. Adu ajabu na ita waruto na anie mwene. Kuma goro ine ya kwa the ine ya mukira igado shi ya kwa. Ole giyadu wa nyoba ito. Kuma goro ine ya kwa the ine ya mukira igado shi ya kwa. Raisu wetu tunge kuoba kwa eshima usikise kilio cha maumau. Hao waze wanasema wanajua pahali kemadhi alizikwa. Raisu kwa mapenzi yako. Ukikubali. Uwapatia na fasi. Watu waneshe pahali yu kemadhi ya lizikwa Kama atapatikana Tumpatie mazishi ya eshima Pia raisi nilikuwa hapa siku ya jumapili katika ibada Na wakristo wala walikuwa na huyu mama wetu Wakaomba mimi na wewe Kwa sababu wanajua sisi ni watu ya kujenga makanisa Wakasema raisi tuwasaidie Iyo kanisa mama alipiana shamba Mimi na we na viongosi, tusaidie kujenga hiyo kanisa. Na rais, I want to encourage you, uendele kujenga kanisa. Hata wengine wakipika kelele, ati kanisa itakani kujengwa wachana na hiyo maneno rais. Wewe, ispokuwa ni mwenyezi mungu huge kuwa rais. Ile jama ulikuwa mepangiwa na system, na deep state, na machifu na kila mtu rais, mwenyezi mungu diya likusaidia. Kwa hivyo ni, ma, ni muhimu ukipata nafasi urudi kwa nyuba la bwana ukuje usaidie. We, viongozi wetu ya kanisa musikuwe na wasiwasi. Kenya iko na uhuru wa kuabudu. Na hatutaki kwa sababu kulifanyika jabu kidogo ya watu wawili. Tulaumu kanisa ya kristu. Tunataka kama iko shida 
mtu walaumiwe na jina lake unajua sasa shetani na wafuasi yake wanatumia hii kuhujumu kanisa la Kristo na shetani unajua halali sasa makasisi wawili wamepatikana pale wamenatumia kanisa kufanya mambo yao hao watachukuliwa hatua kama binadamu wawili lakini kanisa la Kristo wahubiri wetu makasisi wetu ni watu ya maana 99.9% of our pastors and reverends are men of faith and good people I want to ask the church of Christ to give us a chance to to isolate the 0.1% to put it away from the church of Christ Na msikuwe na wasiwasi najua shetani halali na wafuasi wake na ni wengi kwa hivyo kanisa tuko imara rais nikimalizia ningetaka nikuhakishia kwamba uliniagiza nikuje hapa katika Central Province ile ya zamani kaunti yetu ya Nyandarwa Kirinyaga Muranga Nyeri na Kiambu ambayo ime, ilikuwa imelaliwa zaidi na pombe haramu na bangi na rais ningetaka nikujulisha ya kwamba machifu wetu polisi viongozi wote tumeshikana na kazi hapa inaendelea vizuri na pombe inapungua bangi inapungua na kutoka hapa tutaenda pande ya Nakuru tusaidie Rift Valley kutoka hapo tuende pande pande ya Pwani kwa hivyo rais katika area hii hii ya Central Kenya tulikupenda wewe kwa sababu wewe ni mcha Mungu na wewe ni mchapa kazi and we did not make a, a decision just like that we analyzed critically because we are intelligent people na tumekula vitabu kidogo kidogo tumesoma hapa na pale tukaangalia and we were satisfied that you have what it takes to move this country to the next level and so far umetupeleka vizuri nimeona magazeti watu wakipiga kelele ati umeweka wakikuyu wengi kwa serikali yako walikuwa wanataka twende wapi sasa mimi nauliza tukiwa wengi kwa serikali ya Ruto iko makosa wala wanasema tuko wengi kwa serikali ya Ruto sisi pia ndio tuko wengi kamete prison kwa nini waseme tufunguliwe tuende nyumbani your excellency we are in your government by choice and by arrangement we made a conscious decision to vote for you because you have voted takes to run this country and it cannot be ati ya kwamba wakikuyu hapa wachache wakiweka wa serikali mnasema ni ukabila sisi tumefungwa tumejaa pale kamiti hakuna mtu na namika ati wakikuyu ni wengi wafunguliwa ende nyumbani your excellency wale umeweka kwa serikali yetu tunashukuru endelea kuweka wengine amoti kwa na wengine serikali ni eh na sisi si ni kura yetu ni mingi pia So tulipigia huyu rais William Ruto. Yes. Nyinyi kama hakupigia yeye it's up to you. Sisi busituzia kwa mambo yenu. Sisi Sisi ni wachapa kazi. He has analyzed and found that in this region there are men and women who can assist him to govern. And we are in that government by choice. And the president has done nothing wrong in asking us to come and help him to run government. Kwa hivyo watu wawachana na sisi sisi tulipiga kura tukaamuka mapema tukijua nini tunafanya. Kaamuti kwenda tuikale huko tuikaribia ndo hito. Tuikale huko. Kwa hiyo nione dake na atimia mwe tayari na gemitu wa mkera mudamaki. Rwabere. Rwakere. Rwagatatu. Rwakana. Rugama itwa mukira mudamaki wa bururi wa Kenya. Karibu mheshimiwa rais. Asante sana. Tafadhali tuketi chini. Asante sana. Familia ya mama wetu Mokami Kimadhi watoto wake familia kubwa ya 
maumau ndugu viongozi wote wenzangu bwana deputy president prime cabinet secretary former prime minister magavana wetu masias mulio hapa principal secretaries um, speaker wetu wa hapa nyandarwa pamoja na mcs ndugu wananchi wote adwa jandarwa moriega moriega rege mwana ni agosho bwana yesu asifiwe <coughs> kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii nimshukuru mungu kwa kutupatia hii nafasi tuungane na familia ya mama wetu shujaa mokami kimadhi katika sherehe hii ya mwisho tumsindikize kwa heshima kubwa na taadhima zote tukimsherekea kama shujaa ambaye aliungana na mashujaa wengine wa maumau na wale wote walio shiriki katika kupigana na wakoloni ili nchi yetu iwe ni nchi huru na sote tufurahie uraia wetu kama wa Kenya kwa niaba ya serikali ya Kenya na viongozi wote kwa familia ya mama wetu Mokami tunasema pole na pia tumekuja kuungana na nyinyi kusherehekea maisha ya huyu mama wetu kwa sababu alichangia mbali na kupigania uhuru wa taifa letu pia baada ya uhuru wetu kupatikana amechangia sehemu kubwa alikuwa kansola alikuwa kiongozi ameshiriki mambo nyingi ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya wakati mimi nilimjua huyu mama pia alituombea pale 2013 na rafiki yangu uhuru Kenyatta na baraka yake na mate yake na ya viongozi wengine wengi na watu wengine wengi tukapata ushindi 2013 mimi nimekuja hapa kama mmoja ya wale watu walifaidika na mambo ya huyu mama wetu Mokami kusema pole mimi naelewa ya kwamba bado tuko na mambo mengi ya hawa ndugu zetu maumau vile imetajwa hapa na viongozi wengi mbali na huyu mama wetu Mokami tuko na wazee wengi tuko na viongozi wengi tuko na wale ambao wamebaki hawa ndugu zetu wa maumau ya kwamba kwanza tuweke historia sahihi kwa yale mambo walifanya ili watoto wetu na vizazi vijavyo wakuje kuelewa ya kwamba taifa hii ilikombolewa kwa watu kujitolea nataka niwaambie ndugu zetu hawa wa maumau vile mmeuliza ya kwamba kwanza historia iangaliwe vizuri nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba museum ile mmeuliza hapa nyandarwa tayari tumeweka milioni hamsini ya kujenga hiyo museum na waziri yuko hapa atakuja kuandamana na nyinyi vile hiyo museum itajengwa vile vile pale uhuru gardens kule nairobi mnajua pia tuko na museum kubwa ya kukumbuka wale wote 
waliochangia katika historia ya taifa letu la Kenya. Pia na pale mimi nataka niwaeleze ndugu zetu wa Maumau tunawatarajia kuna sehemu ya watu wa Maumau ili tuweke historia sahihi na kweli na tuwakumbuke kwa mchango wenu katika kukomboa taifa letu la Kenya vile vile mimi nataka muelewe mambo haya mliyoyasema ya title deeds hapa Nyandarwa kule Nyeri na sehemu zingine tuko na mpango kamili na mimi nataka niwahakikishie waziri wetu bwana Njeru ako na mwongozo kamili ya kwamba kabla ya sisi kwenda Disemba mwaka huu titles zote za colonial villages na mahali pote wa uh, maumau wanaishi tutakuwa tumezikamilisha na tutakuja ili tuwapatie hizo title deed muweze kuishi kama wa Kenya wengine vile vile mzee ameongea kwa kirefu na amesema ya kwamba tunataka mwili wa kimari mahali ilizikwa kwa sababu ilizikwa kwa aibu kubwa akiwa amefungwa minyororo na akiwa amefungwa kama muhalifu huyo kimadhi hakukuwa muhalifu alikuwa ni shujaa wa kupigania uhuru wa taifa letu la Kenya na mimi nakubaliana na nyinyi na sio nyinyi peke yenu mtaenda kutafuta mahali huyo mungwana shujaa wetu alizikwa serikali ya Kenya itaungana na nyinyi tutafute alizikwa na hiyo aibu tumpatie heshima inayotoshana na shujaa ambaye alipigania uhuru wa taifa letu la Kenya and therefore i am giving you a commitment on behalf of the government of Kenya that the government of Kenya will work with you and all those who have the history of where this great hero our independence hero the man who paid the ultimate price for us to be a free nation that we will find him and we will give him a decent befitting national send off kwa hivyo tutaungana pamoja na nyinyi mimi vile vile nataka niwaeleze ndugu zangu wa hapa Nyandarwa ya kwamba kwa yale mambo yote mmeniuliza mmeniuliza ya kwamba tujenge hii barabara kutoka hapa Njabini mpaka hapa nyumbani kwa mzee wetu eh kimani mimi nataka niwahakikishie hivi nitarudi hapa Jumamosi ijayo Jumamosi kama leo next week nilikuwa nimepanga ya kwamba nitakuja hapa Njabini kuanzisha ile barabara ya kutoka Njabini kwenda mpaka Gadhara na kutoka Gadhara kwenda Tulaga mpaka kwa 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 Kanyugi na kutoka pia pale Kadhara kwenda kia kianguyu kianguyo kwenda mpaka kwa Shem mimi nitarudi hapa kuanzisha hiyo barabara na hiyo barabara ndio nitaunganisha kutoka hapa Njabini mpaka ifike hapa mahali mmesema ilikuwa tunataka kujenga kilomita 
sasa utaongeza iwe kilomita 47 na, na tisa ndio iweze kufika hapa na tuweze kuweka heshima ya wale walio tutangulia katika kupigania uhuru wa taifa letu la Kenya mnajua nilikuja hapa juzi kwa ile barabara ilikuwa imekwama ya kutoka kule captain sasa tumesema tunaunganisha kutoka Kirima Donyojeru mpaka kwa Mato hiyo barabara sasa tuko na contractor inaendelea nilikuwa hapa wakati nilikuja kufungua technical training college yetu hapa na mjumbe wenu huyu Mungwana na nimefurahi ya kwamba hiyo technical training college naambiwa kuna wanafunzi mia sita tayari na wakati huo tulikuja pia kuanzisha hii barabara ya kutoka hapa Njabini kwenda Gidhioro kwenda mpaka Naivasha na hiyo barabara tumekamilisha si namna hiyo bado tuko na barabara zingine nyingi ambazo zimekwama kidogo na zilikwama kwa sababu pesa ilikosekana kwa sababu ya mambo mengi ambayo sitaki kusema lakini katika budget yetu ya sasa tumepanga vizuri kuanzia mwezi wa saba kuna barabara zinaendelea zile zingine zilikwama tutazikwamua hata ile mmeniuliza ya kutoka pale Ndonyonjeru kwenda mpaka iide ngambo ile e, Nyeri enye inapitia pale Abadea nimefurahi sana kwa sababu huyu kijana e, wana medho anasema atanisaidia kwa sababu pale tuko na shida ya msitu na kuna watu wametupeleka kotini hey, wale wametupeleka kotini kwa mambo ya mazingira so mimi nimefurahi huyu kijana ameofa wewe sasa panga hiyo maneno vile tulikubaliana vile wewe ulisema tugavane hiyo kazi wewe pambana na hawa watu wawache kisi na mimi nitaweka pesa ya kujenga barabara so hiyo ni kazi mzuri pia mimi nataka niwaeleze watu wa Nyandarwa niwashukuru kwa heshima kubwa nilikuja hapa kwenu